we are given a trapezoid on a grid, and we're told each small square on the grid has a side length of one centimeter. We're asked to determine the length of the two bases, the height, as well as the area of the trapezoid. The bases of a trapezoid are the two parallel sides. So this is one base and this is the other. And we're first asked to determine the length of the shorter base. Notice the shorter base has a length of one, two, three, four, and the units would be centimeters. Let's go ahead and label this B sub one for the first base. So we'll say B sub one equals four centimeters. The second base has a length of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve centimeters. Let's label this B sub two equals twelve centimeters. And now the height of a trapezoid is the length between the two bases, which would be the length of this segment here. Notice how the height is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven centimeters. Let's record this information below. The length of the shorter base is four centimeters. The length of the longer base is 12 centimeters. The height of the trapezoid is seven centimeters. And now we're asked to find the area of the trapezoid, which is the number of square centimeters that will fit inside this trapezoid. The area of a trapezoid is equal to one half times the quantity base one plus base two times the height. So for this trapezoid, the area is equal to one half times the quantity four centimeters plus 12 centimeters times the height, which is seven centimeters. Following the order of operations, we simplify inside the parentheses first. Four plus 12 is equal to 16. This simplifies to so one half times 16 times seven, multiplying from left to right one half times 16 is equal to eight, and eight times seven is equal to 56. The area is equal to 56 square centimeters. Before we go though, let's talk about where this formula for the area of a trapezoid comes from. First, we need to remember that the area of a parallelogram is equal to base times height. And now if we consider a trapezoid pictured here, where the two bases are B sub one and B sub two, and the height is H. And then if we make a second copy of this trapezoid, and let's say we make it red, rotate it, and place it to the right, as pictured here, notice how the two trapezoids form a parallelogram, which you know has an area of base times height. But for this larger parallelogram, made up of the two trapezoids, notice how the base is B sub one plus B sub two. So the area of this larger parallelogram is equal to the quantity B sub one plus B sub two times H, which is made up of two trapezoids. And therefore, if we want the area of one trapezoid, we'd have to take half of this area, which does give us the area formula for a trapezoid. The area of a trapezoid is equal to one half times the sum of the bases times the height. I hope you found this helpful.